Hello YouTube, Jibo Unit here and I am doing a range report on the Ruger Mark III Standard in a 4.75 inch tapered barrel and um, if you saw my other videos um, you know I, I did a uh, an introduction to the pistol I did a disassembly and a reassembly well over time of disassembling and reassembling that set pin that I had so much trouble with where I had to use a wooden dowel to help uh, take that pin out it has gotten a bit easier so I'm thinking over more time it's going to be I'll be just like those other videos that you see on YouTube where they take everything out by hand but um, uh, it's getting better but uh, let me just just as a review I won't do it in detail you'll have to look at my other videos on the Mark uh, 3 standard disassembly and reassembly but I'll just do a quick one for those of you who have seen those videos um, how much easier it has gotten so here we go um, I still have to use my trusty rubber mallet okay rubber remember I stress rubber don't use a freaking ball peen hammer or anything like that and and my made up um, paper clip tool okay and that's for the clip on the back strap okay so here I go I'll just show you how much easier it has gotten so I've already oh, alright I'll just go ahead and do the safety check Okay, there's nothing here, nothing there. Okay. All right, so here we go. So I'll take my, I still have to take my tool to the back strap. Now here's the part, the critical part that was very difficult. Okay. There we go the breakdown okay so I went to the range and um, I used Remington uh, ammunition and I used blazer okay if you remember in my video on goodies I got at the gun show uh, I bought I bought a couple boxes of blazer I already had Remington and I wanted to find out what you know the Ruger liked so I fired Remington through it first I actually had, um, let's see, I fired probably about 250 rounds of Remington and I had three misfeeds where um, I didn't have any stove pipes or anything, but I had, I had, you know, I'd fire it, click, and, you know, nothing happened. So I had to take the round out. I actually, I, I don't know if this is smart or not, but I reloaded it and tried to fire it again. One out of three fired. So the other two were, you know, it wouldn't fire. I, I think. The casing may have been too damaged already, but I'm not sure. So, I mean, I don't know. Was that a smart thing to do or not? Maybe not. I was just trying to see if it if it would uh, still fire. So anyway, um, I went to Iron Sights in Oceanside, and uh, the range was, um, I think it was just like 20 yards long. Uh, but anyway, I you know, I went and did. Uh, target firing from 7, 10, and 15 yards. Okay, so I'm just going to show you. I, I went and got, you know, just regular old targets, made copies of them on my little printer here, and uh, brought them to the range. Now, okay, mind you, okay, guys, I am not an expert. I'm not a target shooter. I'm not on the Olympic team. So if you happen to be a professional and on the Olympic team, good, great for you. I'm glad you're on our side. You know, or hope so. But anyway, uh, you know, I'm I'm just a hobbyist. You know, I, I like I like uh, firearms, and um, you know, I just wanted to be able to hit a side of a barn. So um, it's kind of like saying, I just learned how to drive, and now I expect to be Jeff Gordon, John Force, Michael Schumacher, Dario Franchitti, right? Professional drivers. So I, you know, and I'm not. So, same thing, hence with the firearms, I'm not a professional shot. But, I wanted to make sure I could hit the side of a barn. So, okay, so I'd never fired the the uh, the standard. So, I wanted to show you, this is my target at 7 yards. Okay, and it was, I, all I did was fire one 10 round magazine. You know, just as a, you know, this is... Fresh first start, you know. I wanted to get close. I didn't want to embarrass myself too much, but you can see 
the general grouping is pretty decent. And yeah, I was aiming for the red dot, um, and you can see where my groupings are. It's kind of kind of low, um, but you know, it, it. I don't know if I was anticipating the kick. You know, I. I mean, at 22, why am I anticipating a kick? I, I have no idea, but you know, maybe I was doing one of these before I pressed it, and that's probably why I was shooting low. So that's what it is at seven yards. Not, not so bad, you know. Um, so I backed it up to 10 yards, and whoo, look at this. This grouping is a lot better. See that? It's still shooting low. So I'm starting to wonder, you know, maybe that's the way it's sighted, or maybe my eyes are crooked. Or, you know, like I said, I'm not a professional. I did this freehand standing. I did not have a bench rest. I did not use bags. Um, I used, you know, freehand. So, so that's what it is at 10 yards. So much better grouping at 10 yards. So I was pleased with that. So I went to 15, okay? And the grouping's still good. It's still, you know, everything except one shot was inside the nine point, um, nine point um, target. So I've got one out here, out here in the eight point, but uh, it's still pretty good, not too bad. So, um, you know, I was pretty pleased with that at 15 yards. All right, so I decided to have, you know, uh, a, a teeny bit, I, I skipped the seven yard and went straight, well, I practiced a little bit with the seven yard, but then when I did my official my official targeting, um, I sent 40 rounds down range um, at at 10 yards, and here's the grouping. Okay, so not too bad. I still you know I still had some going in the eight eight point range, but uh, you know I was trying to adjust my sight. Now all my shots seem a little high, so you know. So that's you know not not too bad. It's still about a big fist size you know grouping. So, and I know some of you guys are probably like, hey, it's a 22. You should have tighter groups. Probably right, but you know, like I said, I'm a hobbyist. So here I am at 15 yards. Uh, the group's a little wider. You can see the wayward round over here, way out there. Um, but the groupings are still not too bad, okay? So that's that's my 15-yard grouping. Not so not too bad. So then I decided, okay, after playing around with the gun, I decided to do um, what what I considered rapid fire. So what I did is I loaded up four magazines and uh, you know, 10-round shots, California. Um, and I um, went ahead and I fired. I, I emptied each clip and I, you know, reloaded them as fast as I could with you know being safe without dropping things all over the place. So I would fire ten, drop the clip. I mean, drop the magazine. I'm sorry, clip. Drop the magazine. Put in another mag. Fire it off until all four magazines were empty. So at seven yards, here is what I got. You know, I got a couple off the target. I got one here at the edge of the screen, edge of the page, another one here. And, uh, you know, they're like kind of like all over, but still sort of kind of grouped in the eight-point circle. So, um, you know, not bad. I mean, I, I put, you know, 38 rounds in target. So I imagine that would stop somebody, I hope, right? Uh, I did get a few in that in the in the bullseye, so that was that was kind of good. So, okay, so that's seven yards rapid. I backed it up, did ten yards rapid, and strangely enough, the groupings were a lot smaller, except for this one. I totally anticipated shooting. This was my first shot, and I I about I was like, oh my god, this is not good. So I hit one there, but the rest of them, you know, not too bad a grouping still on the page, still in the neighborhood, okay? And then I went to 15, and, you know, trying to concentrate more, um, I got, you know, everything in there. I got two that went off target, one here and one here, uh, but the other 38, you know, hit the target. So I wish I had a whole bunch of them like that, but, you know, like I said, comes with more practice. 
Um, with the with the pistol, I did put approximately 750 rounds through, and um, the the Ruger loved the cheaper ammo. It loved the Blazer, and uh, cheaper. You know, I don't know the quality. I, I've got Winchester, Remington, and Blazer, and um, I think CCI is supposed to be like the upper type of ammo, but. Um, uh, cheaper meaning it was the least expensive. I got it at the gun show for like 14 bucks for a brick of 550. So, uh, because this one loves it, guess what I'm buying next time. So, anyway, that's it for the range report. Oh, let me put this back together for you. Show you that it, it does get a little bit easier, but I still have to use my little, you know, mallet. So, so here I'll go ahead and put this, put this together. Tell you it, it takes a while to get used to this thing. There you have it. I reassembled it a lot quicker than it was the first time I got this pistol. So, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed that range report. Um, and, you know, uh, I'm glad that I could hit, you know, a target this big. Uh, so that's what's important. You know, I, I don't want to be shooting, you know, ideally, I'm thinking about man-sized targets. So if I can get it right here, if I hit center mass, um, you know, I, I mean, I know it's a 22, everyone, you know. But if it's the only thing I got, at least I know how to shoot it and I know how to shoot it on target. So anyway, hope that you enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to have another range report uh, for my um, uh, SIG SP2340. So anyway, uh, take care, and I will talk to you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.